Hey everybody, Matt here with LGN Gaming. Today, bring you guys a video about Subnautica. Gonna be a quick gameplay video. Uh, currently, I'm having a lot of trouble finding, um, what am I having trouble finding? Silver. I'm currently trying to build some electronics in my base. And you need computer chips and whatnot, and silver Welcome is the big Captain. thing I don't have. Because as you can see, I need computer chips, which takes silver. I need, uh, yeah, computer chips. That's it. Maybe wiring kit. I think a wiring kit does as well. But I'll, after I get that, my base will be pretty well along. And I can recharge batteries and whatnot. And that's really my main goal. Because once I can do that, I'm going to be a lot better off. Because currently, I can't do that. And my... I don't really want to make another power thing for my sea glide because I already have three or four and my current my last one's kind of running low. So it's my goal to get Welcome some silver. Aboard, now silver does go around here, I believe. I found it goes in sandstone. I found sandstone on these quite a quite a lot quite a, quite often. I think it has to be pretty deep. Lag is real. This happens quite often. I feel like the uh, Xbox it, Xbox One is just not strong enough to run this game because it runs it pretty pretty well most of the time, but every now and again, like it has a lot of loading issues where like the world lo takes forever to load in and whatnot. <clears throat> but oh well. Is this sandstone? No, limestone. I have plenty of copper. Could really use sandstone specifically. What is this? Oh, it's part of a sea moth. I am definitely very much enjoying this game so far. I haven't got super far along in the story. I've just gotten to the gun base part. That's about it. Haven't got much further than that. Is that Seamoth as well? Yeah. I'm getting attacked by things. Sand shark, I believe. What's this? Seamoth. Dang it. Why is it all Seamoth? I have plenty of titanium currently. Go ahead and just run right into that mat. That'll help. There's Sand Shark. I need silver really bad. I Another thing I want to make is a stealth suit. The first thing I want to make, because my Sea Glide is almost out of energy. Or not my Sea Glide, my uh, Sea Moth is almost out of energy. I'm going to make that uh, power supply charging station. That'll be the first thing. Then I'll probably make a stealth suit after that. Copper down here. Is that quartz or lithium? Quartz. So I've been doing a pretty decent job at facing my fears when it comes to being afraid of everything to do with water. So that's definitely good. What the hell is this thing? I don't know what this thing is. Can I scan it? Nope. Can I scan it down here? Blood vine, there we go. I've never seen a blood vine before. Blood vine. I feel like I've definitely seen stuff that takes blood to make, though. I'm gonna take a look at that right quick. If I can. If I can. This species of kelp grows in sparse corpse copses deep on the ocean floor. This one in nine preconditions being eventually creepy. 
shelter for an array of distinct fauna and megafauna. Survival at these depths is challenging, and the life forms which make their home have developed unusual coping mechanisms, including a bleaching of skin pigment, dependency on natural occurring metals and oils to adjust temperature and pressure, and in some cases even electrical defense mechanisms. The vibrant red oils which seep from the blood bind coagulate into semi-hard postules, which frequently fall loose and form a vital foodstuff for local e ecosystem. Or are otherwise reabsorbed into the ground over time. Shit. Interesting. Very interesting. Is that sandstone? Basalt. That's gold. Gold. Don't want gold. Quartz. Could always use some quartz. I'll go make some glass. I need to reinforce my diving suit. Or something. Hmm. What is... Is that uranite? It is uranite. Is that uranite as well? Oh, there's lots of uranite. I think I have enough to make a thing now. What happened to my seamount? There it is. That was scary for just a second. Okay. Gonna have to say that there's no sandstone outcrops over there, which sucks pretty hard. I've definitely seen them around here before, but I think I might have got them all. I've definitely seen them on the pillars before. How am I doing on the floor space? Not terrible. I'm gonna drink some water real quick. Hmm. It was definitely in here with those plants that shoot you. I don't like the plants that shoot you because those get me almost every time. Okay, here we go. Here we go, what's this? What is this? Oh, one of those guys, damn it. My guy was not getting... My guy was not enjoying getting shot. I didn't even see that. I'm so stupid. Oh no. Alright. I think I'm going to go back to my base right quick and make that uranium I think I can make from that uranite. Store that away. Because I'm not finding any more sandstone. That's, I really need silver. Alright. I'm staying out until I find silver. Is that... Thing? Of course not. Get in your seat. That goes real deep. I don't want to go in there. Sandstone. Freaking gold. I have enough gold. I need silver. You'd think silver would be more common. Screw you, dude. Sandstone? I was trying to kill that guy. Nope, that's limestone. I don't want my 
Seamoth to run out of energy. That would be very not beneficial to me. I may have to make another power supply, but I don't I don't want to do that at all. I'm sure there are plenty of people out there who know exactly where to find sand sandstone, and they're like, wow, you're an idiot that you don't know where to find this, but I honestly have no idea. I've found, I've definitely found quite a bit of sandstone before, but I can't, I feel like they were on pillars. Welcome aboard, Captain. Sort of like the ones I was showing you guys, and the ones I've been kind of looking at, but I'm not seeing the pillars that I saw before, which is quite frustrating. And I would really like to get... I need two silver, I think. Is the amount of silver I need to finish the thing I want to finish. And it's quite upsetting that I can't find it. I'm gonna keep heading this way. Another place I found so a lot of silver was closer to my life pod, but I have not been that it was like completely empty last time I went there. Please tell me all this stuff's silver or er, sandstone rather. Nope, limestone. I mean, sandstone, and that sucks. There's my base while I'm here. I think I might... I might just leave my sea moth here and try and sea glide back to my base and see if I can find silver from there. Not my base, the life pod, rather. Right now, I'm gonna make some uranite, pull in some glass. That's enough glass. Can I make uranite? How much? Or uranium, rather? Uranium, there we go. Okay. Ooh, base is running low on power. Oh, no, it's not. I mean, kind of, but no. Aluminum oxide. Okay, that one's full. Okay, I have enough force to make one more glass. And then, I believe I'm kind of going to make some more things real quick. I'm going to make one more glass because I want to keep some quartz. I don't want to use it all. Okay. Now I'm going to add some more storage in my storage room. We're gonna go to right here. Build that guy right there. Oops. Okay, there we go. Now, I wanna have specific lockers for specific resources would be my goal. If I'm, if I'm going to get to that, I don't know. I mean, probably, because I like kind of being a neat freak a little bit. And I like collecting a bunch of stuff. So, off camera, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of just grinding. 
because I might just go and get a bunch of lubricant and a bunch of creep vine cluster clusters and whatnot and try that. Okay. I'm gonna get copper in its own one because I get a lot of copper. Put copper right here. Okay. And now what do I want to do? I can put all the actual crafted resources in one as well. That sounds like a decent idea. Is that uranium or mat or no? You're a knight. Okay. Oh, I have more quartz too. Excuse me. So in this one, I'm gonna put all my crafted resources. So fiber mesh, fiber mesh. Glass, silicone rubber, magnesium, titanium ingots. Copper wire, glass steel ingot, uranium. There we go. And now everything else can go into this one. Okay, now it's back. Down to my stuff. Now I need silver really bad. So, I'm gonna go sea glide to my base. Yep, see you guys at my base. Or not my base, the life pod, rather. Because I'm, I'm going to probably pick up all the stuff I have at the life pod. I might have a silver at the life pod. I might just be really stupid. Although I don't think I do. And if I don't, I have one place where I think I can find it. But I'm not sure. Because there's this one place that has this little cave system that's the very first place I saw sandstone. There's stalker sort of nearby. And sometimes it has a bunch of resources when I go there, and sometimes it doesn't have any when I go there. So it would suck if the... I think it might be this right here. Yeah. I'll stop there now, actually. Whoa. Oops. Okay. I could always use titanium as well, and I have enough inventory space right now to do that. While well, I'm here. Bladderfish. more limestone. Now that I have a place for copper, I'll pick all that up. I can get two because I'm going to use it eventually. Just probably not anytime soon. Running low on O2. is real sometimes. More copper. Yay. I'm not super upset when I get titanium. I don't think this is the one I'm thinking about. This is a different one. There must be another one of these somewhere that has the, uh, There's two little caves that go off to the side that have uh, sandstone in one of them. That table coral sample. Must have dropped that over here. I don't want this to go on too much longer, so if there's no silver in the next place I look, then 
probably going to have to end the video there and just have it be a little finding blood vines or something. I don't know. I'll see. I'll see how it works. Take the class deal and get the ion crystal. Uh, might want to explore some more life pods. I already explored most of them, I believe, but I'm not sure. Make myself some filtered water. Because I can hardly ever find uh, those fish. The, that must be a good spot for them. I gotta remember where that is. Because lately I've been going to uh, that island where the Degasi base is and using that. Which isn't, isn't the best bet. Sandstone. Need to find sandstone. There's some quartz. Sandstone will be great. I need to look for that thing I was talking about. I believe it was right before the creep vines where the stalkers are. Is it this? Is it this one? Yes. It's the way that doesn't have the shooty guys. I think it's that one. Go get a breath of air right quick. Ooh. Yeah, he's leaving. Okay. Yeah, it was definitely around here I found the sandstone. Shoot. Is that one right there? Maybe. No, it's not. That's pretty terrible. 30 seconds. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, I could have sworn I could have sworn that was where I found sandstone last time. In that little room. Maybe you gotta take a trip to an island. The gun base island, maybe? That's what I think I'm gonna do next. Alright. So gonna head back to my life pod. And I'm gonna end the video there. Uh Well, that was a decent video talking about... Well, that was... <laughs> I don't know what that... I, I saw life uh, blood vines in that video, so there we go. Uh, that was the cool thing. Discovering blood vines and search for silver. There we go, it'll be something like that. Well, sorry for not finding silver. That was my goal, and it's going to take me a while. But, hope you guys like that video. Hope you guys like this game. I absolutely... I'm absolutely loving this game. Uh, so... If you guys like this kind of video, feel free to subscribe. That's the best way to see when I post new videos. Anyways, Matt here with LGN Gaming, signing off. I'll see you guys next time.